question is, what is your superpower? So like, what is Greg's superpower? If there is one thing that you own as a superpower, what do you think it is? And if, if, if you don't know the answer, that's okay. I could tell you what I think yours is, but I would challenge you and anyone watching this to ask at least 10 different people from your life. Someone that's known you for many, many years, definitely ask maybe your family, definitely ask someone that's known you for a few months, mm -hmm. you know, so all the different gaps of time. And I guarantee you're not going to always get the same answer. And that's the beauty because you can sort of jot these things down and recognize yep. when you're having those tough days and say, man, this is like, what am I doing? What's the, recognize the superpowers that people see you and view you. So what do you think, if anything, is one of your superpowers? That's I know funny. it's a question and it's, I'm putting you on the spot, but what do you that, think? You know what's funny too? I had, I actually had a circle of good friends that um, were with me through a, you know, an intensive journey. Um, they listed out some things that they would describe me as. Good. The last one really struck a chord with me and he said, friend literally just said friend. And the reason why I say that is because I always felt like I wanted to be that connection point for people, for them to feel comfortable and for them to not feel like there was a sense of judgment. And that really like reflected to me that I was actually on the right track. You know, saying I can be a friend to somebody else. I can, you know, be present for them. I could support them. And they felt like I had a close enough re relationship with them where they could call me friend rather than, you know, saying this is Greg Purcell and so on and so forth. But really saying, you know, he's a good friend. Like he he's really there for you. He really supports you. Um, you know, you call him, you know, he say, OK, what can we do? How can I? How can I best support? Like that's that's what I, that makes me feel good, because that 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 for me it's saying like I'm making a difference, like I'm helping out, and uh, yeah, that that really hit home for me. I would say you're a unifier. So like you are, you know, similar to the words connector and bridge, but you have the natural ability and you have the natural instincts to unify an audience. That's something, do not take that for granted. Like you walk into a room, they don't know if you're a project manager, they don't know if you're an analyst, they don't know if you're an engineer, Yeah. but they just say, this person here is listening. Yeah. This person here understands the quiet person in the room, probably has something to say, but it's gonna be you know, offline, right? <laughs> Not in the crowded group. So like you're the unifier that's going to say, I'm going to talk to this person on the side and that's your instincts and get his thoughts after the meeting. Cause he probably has a lot of things to share, but he didn't say anything in the meeting. Mm -hmm. I'm going to control the audience in the room that has all these loud voices. Who's trying to be the loudest in the room mm -hmm. to be heard and reduce some of that chaos into some type of calm. So like you're a unifier in terms of you know, like I talked about earlier, like the different demographics of the senior citizens walking into the YMCA. It's like, oh, that Greg is so sweet. The the gym rat that's walking into the YMCA. Oh, man, he's real cool. You know, like the basketball players that knew you. It's like he's family. Mm -hmm. So like you have the diversity and the really the ability to be a hybrid in terms of taking your personality, taking the things that are important to you and realizing I don't want to have people feel isolated. I don't want to have people feel unheard. You know, I don't want to have that separation. And that's because it resonates with you personally. Yeah. So you're not going to want someone to feel that. And that's why you're a unifier. I appreciate that. I mean, I'm, I already know I'm talking to Andrew Stevens and I consider him to be a bridge because I, I feel like in a lot of ways, and I laugh at it too. I'm like, man, how did I go across this bridge? Like, <laughs> how, did I, how did I get, like, I, I mean, it's funny because, um, and Andrew knows, like, I had worked in Midtown Manhattan for like about four years. And in my span of 40 years, I had never been to a New York sporting event. Never. Never. Like, <laughs> <just> never. <laughs> 
You're uh, like working just above it. Yeah, you know, just working above station, it, yeah. watching people go in, just do all this stuff. Never. And we had a conversation and he's like, bro, have you ever done it? Like, and I'm like, no, I don't have time. What? J- there's so many opportunities, make time for it. And you know what? That struck a chord with me. And then from then on, I went to like a few different events and I felt like I literally felt at, like a kid in a candy shop. I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> like, it was like, bro, thing, well, what did you do to me? This is so <laughs> cool. <laughs> and I was like, man, that, that, that whole experience would like, that really shaped me for the rest of my life because I said, I just have to start, stop making excuses and just start getting results. Do what I can and, you know, bring along, along someone with me for the ride. And Drew has always been a testament of that because every year, one of the things people don't know is just about every year or so, he'll reach out and say, bro, we're getting everybody together. We're going to go grab some burgers. Let's do this. And man, I'll tell you, everybody in that group, I if you talk to them, they'll be like, I be, I've been thinking about it. I block out things in my calendar because I want to be there. Um, mm-hmm. Because it's, it's a great connection. It's a great community and a great experience. And that's really the legacy and the testament of the type of bridge that Andrew's been. So, man major ups to you for for just being a testament to that and just uh being a good friend and everything um so i really appreciate that that means a lot you know to me i'm I'm a sucker for the storytelling so getting everybody together and you know the arguments about things and all the various things we get into like it's totally totally worth it totally totally worth it so i'm just grateful that we're friends and we have this relationship beyond beyond the game let's say right beyond the game uh, you know, it's because a lot of us that might have been connected through basketball are no longer in touch at times because life goes on. Right. But that's a life choice. You know, if you want to stay connected, 